Okay. Hello, welcome back to some more medium. Okay. Right, so we've just as quite some revelations. We've learned some new things maybe that we might be able to use as us. In regards to the powers that we have. Um <laughs> Mazes. Amazing. Yeah, I didn't think that was the way. I wonder if this leads back around to the area at the beginning where there was stuff that I didn't go explore. Again, I'm following my senses, which said to go to this way. Even though maybe there might be stuff the other way. There's crows. Reclaiming history, the nearby 19th century fort, a place of great historical significance, will soon be renovated and reopened to the public. It's never. Investigations works will commence as soon as they're expected to be completed by 1983. I saw that spirit bird fly past. There's really nothing to see other than that light in the distance. Postcards! Neva! Yerkules. My darling, I have not... Have I ever mentioned Mr. Redgrid's daughter? You never sent any of these letters, ever. Lillian! She turned 16 today. Poor thing. Couldn't even have a proper birthday because of that signature. <laughs> I know, it reminds me of a poor Anna. Hers is the next one, isn't it? Wish I could go there, but Mr. Redgrid needs me here. Gotta stay, gotta help him out. Like he helped me, love you. I mean, Lillian and Lillian. I don't know, but she's older. <laughs> Educational theatre. Educational trail, sorry. Neva Nature Park. The Nature Park. And the Neva Nature Park was created thanks to the generosity of the government of the Polish people. I need to go back and see what was the other. Because <laughs> there were paths at the beginning of the game that I should have taken. That were off the beaten track, we may have had things. The woods over here. Oh, this big arrow that points over there, quite clearly saying go this way. Something over here. I run it trigger. There we go. <laughs> How is he? No, don't put him on. I'm still at work. Just tell me if he's okay. All right. Tell him I'll be back soon. Hmm. This one felt subdued, like if someone lit a match in a giant freezer. Interesting. Or postcards. Um, hello, my sunshine. Working hard as always. And Mr. Rockwood says there won't be any more guests coming, but that's all right. Still plenty I can help with. I just wish it was quiet. I won't it stop talking. It's. I really wish I could see you. It's stop talking. Voices in your heads. The creepy demons. Crow. I want to stop talking. The insanity crow <laughs> of your consciousness. Back in this game, huh? Ruth the Raven. Sends him on his way. Oh, that's just the educational trial. I thought we activated a new trigger then by sending the crow. Alas, we did not. I think over here. It sounded familiar somehow. Something from my early childhood, maybe? Was it even Landscape a trail? Or something else entirely? Well, the crow's that way. 
We're gonna go to this rare tree exhibit. There are memory rounds here. <laughs> That leads to the light, so <laughs> we'll go the trail, I guess. What was the point in coming to this tree? Down the trail! Clearly leads around the exact same way. Are the postcards? Get harder and harder to ignore. Worst of all, it's starting to make sense. That girl, that poor girl, locked up like an animal. No child should live like this. Is she really that sick? This record says it's for her own good, but I'm starting to wonder. Wish I could see again. I love you, said. F. Pay respect. Uh, he's <laughs> not looking her up for her own safety. He's he kidnapping her. In Francis, you did nothing to save the day. You did nothing to stop any of this. You enabled him. There goes the crow. Why do I get the feeling the demon is... <laughs> Something down there. I haven't seen the moth demon in a while. Allowed off the beaten track that way. God. Another one. It looks like it rotted from the inside. So the cracking that we saw on is the rotting, I guess. And he knows that I found the first one, I guess. Maybe we're meant to try and cross the bridge. So maybe we were supposed to have, you know, <laughs> looked at the first one. I wonder if we would say that if we hadn't found the first one. Another one? Oh, what other one? We haven't found any others. There's just this one. Probably some other stuff that we missed as well at the beginning, but maybe not. We might have got everything. And another. This is truly another. One. These animals, they look used up. Like something sucked the life out of them. The demon. All of them as flesh and suck the life out of them. Demon that's probably going to come and hunt us now. Okay, we're going to crawl through the mud like predator. It's a doggo! You scared the shit out of me, little buddy. With a shoe. It's got weird eyes. What you got there? Oh, hey! Wait! Um, behind you. <laughs> it might have just been a bush blown in the wind. The Vistula River! I think you want me to follow you, though. I know. <laughs> nah, you're not allowed. 
Maybe later. Ah. We probably missed the postcards off the beaten track earlier. It's me! It has to be me! He's down there, alone, scared. I can hear her all the time now. She whispers, she yells, let me out, let me out! He doesn't understand. He doesn't want to understand. Maybe he's not who I thought he was. I have to show him. Maybe F! Maybe Francis becomes the moth demon. But he's doing it to save the girl. That's honourable. Okay, doggo. I come in. So, there I was, following my new best friend, hoping he wasn't as lost <laughs> as I was. But he started running I backwards. Thinking he could lead me to his owner. In a way, I guess he did. <laughs> They're not ominous at all. His owner, the demon. And he stopped leading me, he got a bit confused. Now I'm leading the doggo. <laughs> Shaving tools, towels, grease. It's an outhouse. Everything an elegant Sasquatch needs. What's wrong, buddy? And bucket loo. <laughs> He's got toilet roll. Eggs. Oh, let's see what we got here. Yummy. Dog foods. I'm sorry. I just wanted the foods. Get out, champ. Okay, so fed the cat, we fed the dog. Now what? What is it, boy? You want to show me something? You catch a scent? Hey! Lead the way. I'm coming. Slowly but surely, how we went Anyone around the there? river when we came. The tent. That fire is fresh. What's wrong, boy? You're not going to comment that the cinders of the fire looks clearly sorry. fresh. Francis. I'm so sorry. Hello? I wish I could see you again. I miss you. Maybe you should have sent her your goddamn postcards. I was like a zombie. Was he the, the um, the zombie that we saw right at the start of the game? The Shambler. Could eat your brain. Yep, it's your demon. It's your inner demon. You shouldn't have let your inner demon out by murdering the old man, maybe. Um, okay. He self suffocated. I think that's him. After they closed down the resort, did he just stay behind? What he scratched off all the eyes. Was he he killed all of them apart from him. Poor Francis. And a postcard to your lover. All I wanted was for her to see the sun. I'm so sorry. F. He looks drained. Rotted out from within. But he also self suffocated himself. Come on. You know, the, <laughs> the demon alone didn't do this. He's got a plastic bag tied around his head. They'll suffocate himself. Painful and slow again. 
Easy so you feel your body start to burn from Where within. Don't, don't, <laughs> don't do it. Oh God. That's a boy dog. They animated balls on. <laughs> no, stay. <laughs> Why did they give that dog balls? It's the moth demon. Time to dive into the mud. Nope, we're going over the cliff into the mud. And lag. <laughs> and now it's time to run. Okay, at least we can see better in this than we would have in the forest. It's nice of it to switch because it was like there's a gap you wouldn't be able to cross there. Don't Bridge run. is going to collapse on us though. Nope, okay. And yen get me, demon. You're not wearing me as a skin suit. You will not. You will not be inside me. Precious little skin sources. I should run you up at this. I'm sorry, he is just gone. <laughs> That's literally a scene from Lord of the Rings as well, where it's a full suit bridge like that. <laughs> Shiny little skin sources. Pretty sources. Okay, Gollum. So he is Francis. Wore him and wore him out. Or he was the, the boss, because he was also was seemingly a <laughs> Or Thomas. <laughs> or he all of them. He could have been in all of them. But she said. Maybe that's what he said. It's what he. <laughs> okay. I mean, there's not going to be any more postcards from this point out, right? Because <laughs> France is dead. He ain't. He ain't writing any more postcards from Beyond the Grid. There might be pictures, drawings, and writing, written letters. Think it's some baubles. Oh no. <laughs> what? Who's there? No risky stuff. Eh? Jack and Dad's. This isn't real. It can't be. No risky stuff, eh? Jack? <laughs> I mean, we're running for our lives here. It's not like we have a lot of choice in the matter. Prince? They lead into that way. It's tight. It is. No, it can't be. He's got his lucky tie clip on and everything. It is. 
But why is he here? If we already sent him... We passed him on to the other realm. Like, why would he still be here? We sent him on his way. Unless nobody actually gets sent on. And it is the day of the dead. <laughs> oh, sort of. Oh, quiet. But the celebrations and festivities may have begun. <laughs> so, you know, he might be allowed to walk the earth again. And people were leaving bread and milk, not water. You're not him. You're not him. I can't quite read what that says. So it's very relevant. <laughs> it is him. I'm sorry to tell you, it is. Breathe. Just breathe. Stay calm. Where have you sent me? I I've helped you pass on. Oh no. <laughs> Did he send him to hell? <laughs> Corporate hell. It's all your fault. No, it's just the yeah. demon mimicky. Just the demon messing with you. Life's over before you know it. Like, you should embrace the good stuff whilst you can, before it all goes away, before it all ends. Be with the people you want to be with. <laughs> Tell them. Talk to them, message them. Spend time with them. <laughs> oh no, our battery's running out after all this time. I... I didn't want to go that way anyway. Okay, it wouldn't let me move the concrete mixer in the way. It all ends in there. Yeah, 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 yeah. I got trying to interact with that concrete mixer. Um, yes, you can use your inside to unravel the hidden danger. I know, I already noticed. <laughs> I was trying to move that concrete mixer to block the way. It wouldn't work. Didn't work, I tell you. Yet. Okay. We're gonna start in the running scene? Or are we at the um, mixer? Oh, we're all the way back here. The cult. Where have you sent me? I. Because we need to walk through all of this bit again before we get to. I see a shadow in the deep. Okay. So. It's all your fault. Jack? It is it's the demon just trying to draw us in. I wonder if we don't look at this, does it. Stop the demon coming. You know, do we stop the trigger if we don't look at that particular picture? In me. Yeah. <laughs> In me. Move 
move your ass. And we have the bomb cutters, of course. Yes, I send them all along on their way, on their journey. Not inside you. Oh no, you don't get to have them. Nothing else? More bolts to cut, okay. There's a weird brick there. Big red thing, huh? Big red button. What could go wrong? A generator. Wonder if it still works. Whoa, 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 whoa. Of course it doesn't. I think it's out of gas. Yeah, cool. I'm generator firing up whenever you crave. Yeah, whatever it is. Lock down tight. I think there's a lock down. You go out, but it's not on. Can you hear my motor heart? No, because it's not running. <laughs> You're the one that started it. Not me. Okay. I feel that's empty. Need to go fill it. Well, that's the way out. So I'm going to go check out over here. There might have been something else. There still might. <laughs> In the awkwardness of physics. Hello, Saria. How's it going? Not too bad. How's it going for you? You having a good day? Guessing you've almost finished work now. Getting quite late. <laughs> The bolt cutter's gonna break. <laughs> Fuck, that was loud. Yeah, it's not like we're running from demons or anything. Um, so far it's been a good day, and yet almost done for work. One hour left, nice, not too bad. Obviously it's nine o'clock here. <laughs> it's quite late now. Not a lot going on here. Just running from demons. <laughs> I can hear you up there. Like that. Why don't you come down? Come on. It'll be fun. <laughs> I got a feeling he's gonna smash the pillar if I if he hears me. <laughs> No, it's a bit late. Not too bad. Nice. At least it's Thursday. True. Like, you know. <laughs> Me currently unemployed. I guess it doesn't really make a lot of difference to what day it is. Are you going to smash the pillar? I don't want to be down there with you. <laughs> It's demons chasing us, it wants to wear us as a skin suit. We'll be fine. <laughs> we could outrun it. Schedule's more flexible. Indeed it does. But yeah. <laughs> oh, there goes <laughs> that. <laughs> Okay, the demon's up here now. We'll play dress up. They're not wearing me, Mr. Demon. And he teleported, that would be it. He's 
going to hold our breath and wait for him to run away. Definitely no sexual connotations with what he says at all. <laughs> Definitely none. You saw nothing. Bones nearly gave us away. <laughs> um, I'm looking for work. It's just, you know, with COVID and everything and the fact that I worked in the hospitality industry for literally my entire life. And that's like the big thing that's been ruined the most by COVID. <laughs> you know, it's, <laughs> it's not easy finding work in this field remotely. Like, <laughs> hardly anything is employing at all. Oh, that's a problem. Interesting. <laughs> we set off some crows, but it actually didn't aggro him. I mean, clearly I need to activate this wind, but it's right next to him. Is this going to drop on his head? Nope. Wait, just distract him. <laughs> Thank you. I need all the luck I can get, honestly. Hopefully, something. <laughs> I can't guarantee quickly because, like, the hospitality industry has been. Really screwed by COVID and everything, so finding full time work in this is not easy. You know, all I can do is keep applying until I find something. And if I get something, then I can get a mortgage to get a house to get away from here and can maybe travel to see. Other countries. Something really nasty. Must have done something really nasty. Bad daddy, huh? But yeah, like, and maybe help other people who need money for things. There's a lot that I can do if I had a full-time job, for certain, that <laughs> would improve my world. That I cannot currently do. So yeah, I definitely need a job. <laughs> definitely. Someone was selling a Jaguar X-Type for a thousand pounds as well. And like, if I needed to drive anywhere, that's actually a really, really good deal. It's a 2004, but still, it's... Really, really good car for the price, especially these days. At least this could come in handy. What on earth is this? <laughs> like, it's not a screwdriver. What is this tool? <laughs> what is this tool? So yeah, a job would do a lot for me. He's afraid of lightning. Energy's energy. I'm still going slow just to try not to send him off. Anything with customer service type jobs, not easy at all. Thousand pounds for a car. That was, yeah, that one thousand pounds. And it's a Jaguar, which I don't know if you know much about cars. Jaguars are luxury cars. The X-Type, and it looks quite good. And, you know, these days, like, <laughs> even a cheap, nasty car is not going to be that. So, you know, a really, really good luxury car. That is it. 
Okay, we I, we didn't get any petrol. I don't think we've got this empty gas canister, but we could have used that the entire time. Okay, the demon's going to be over here. Like we literally could have gone straight back to that the entire time. There's no way this... <laughs> I must have missed where we filled this up. <laughs> There's no way this empty gas can. Oh, done. It does. <laughs> well, we found a lever as well. And we'd need that. That's what that thing is. It's the lever. Fits. Okay. Gates open. Now We're moving this big noisy thing. <laughs> we'll attract the demon. What could possibly go wrong? What could possibly go wrong? Yeah. Okay. Still down there. Let's do something about it. Come to me. Street, street, street. Shut your fucking mouth. Yes. Burn you, twisted fucking bitch. We should only get a car for that price. <laughs> I mean, I haven't bought it, and it's only because a friend is selling it and listed it and mentions it on Facebook that I could get it, but I have no need for a car. You know, if I needed a car, God, I, I would is... buy it. You know, it's a, it's a good deal. But then insurance and petrol and everything, and I have no need for a car, and I don't even have a job. So, you know, it's it's kind of irrelevant, but I could get a really good bargain on a car. <laughs> could. But someone else has probably already snapped it up by now. You know, good bargain. <laughs> Doo -doo. Definitely need the money for other things. <laughs> Okay, we've got a bit of a laggy loading. Exactly, for that price, it's very likely that someone's nabbed it. Very likely, indeed. What is that? Sounds like... Okay, it's sorrow. Sadness. Sadness? Sadness, is that you? I mean, you could already tell. Did you find what you were looking for? I don't think we killed the demon. Get back to work, no worries. You take care too, see you around. Have fun at work. Sadness. I need you to... Thank you for popping by. Okay. As far as you can remember. What do you see? Uh, is this a game? Guess it's a game. <laughs> I'm not, hon. This is important. I mean, well, it can be fun. I know what Richard did. Was he the one keeping you here? Marianne! It's okay. I've sent him away. He's gone forever. Lily. Lily? Lily. Yep, he gone now. That used to be your name. Do you remember? Let's say that was fun, true. Your father. Wasn't that good? That sounds nice. You remember him? That's why I like hospitality work as well. It's <laughs> like, you, you know, it's more fun. That's more orientated. So sad. Just like you. Because we are sad now. <laughs> it must be nice to remember your mommy. I never met my parents. They... They... 
I <laughs> said so the dad wasn't I even her dad. I was very little. I was the only one who made it. Enjoy the luck. Thank you for the luck. Shouldn't be here. <laughs> I shouldn't be here. Maybe. Well, you can move along. Maybe I Taking off a mask away. for a moment. No, Marianne. I can't leave. Not yet. But why? This is missing an arm. You sent away the monster. You killed the other one. <laughs> I am. He is the monster. It doesn't need me anymore. It, it wants you. And when, when it breaks you, when it puts you on, it, it'll finally be able to leave this place. But it. It will never be full. It will never stop killing. Then let me send you away. So we can both leave. Now that you remember who you are, I can... No, Marianne. It's not just about me. It's you. You have to remember. The dream. The fire. fire. The Red House. Hmm. Did we burn the house? Did we kill our parents? Wait! What is the Red House? You were there, Marianne. With me. This too. You were always with me. I'm so sorry. Lily? Gone. Well, that's the red house. Just when I oh, it's not burning. I send her away. Thomas, I really hope you're still out here. Because I'm. Really I don't, because <laughs> he ain't a good man either. I don't think. Twins, twinsies. Except hmm, we're missing something. Horsey. Dialogue, you can load, come on. You can do it. I have faith in you. <laughs> You're not gonna soft lock. Clever girl. Clever girl. Um, you didn't send snails. Are you looking for this little girl? Um, I'm sorry, but um, father doesn't like it when I talk to strangers. Smart man. He's the manager around here, right? Would you happen to know where he is? I'd love to have a word with him. Go away, or I'll scream. Okay, so that's what was meant to be. <laughs> Have a go. It's Jurassic Park. <laughs> Something upstairs. Thomas. You were here. This was your place. The garage. What the hell happened here? Old cassette player. July 27, 1983. The Gemini case. Twins! The investigation is moving along, but 
I think Rekovich is starting to suspect something. Need to move fast. Tonight's the night. So they knew about Thomas. How much exactly? And who the hell mm. were they? That's why we have powers, because Thomas is our dad and he had powers. Oh hey, a eunuch. Someone's got good taste. Nothing special about the eunuch. Power's out. Maybe we have to repair the bike. <laughs> Not just the case. Are you one to talk? This was your bright idea. No, they're already on to us. That son of a bitch is one of them. I can feel it. Fine, we'll make sure. Come on. It's almost dawn. One of Until them. dawn? <laughs> Who are you running from, Thomas? Heavy rain? Richard! How could you do it? How the fuck could anyone do such a thing? I guess deep down I always knew there was something broken inside of you. But this? One thing for certain, whatever he did to you, whatever we did to you, you got what you Yes, you did. Did you not? This looks like it could lift a pound or two. It's missing a handle, though. <laughs> okay, so we've got a jack to open the door. We've got a bike to repair. We got a creepy ass doll staring at us. Okay, we're gonna put this with the twinsies, I guess. That was a creepy doll. Just broken chair and that. Right, so this will give us spirit energy. But I wasn't paying attention to what we might need to eat in this run. I was only looking in the corporeal realm the entire time. Okay, so... There's something over here. <laughs> That's interesting, we've glitched in a weird spot. Well, we don't need the jack to run through. We can actually run through in this. That's a demon gate. It never stopped burning. We set that on fire. Should we be going into the flames and carrying on? But there's definitely something glowing over here. The spirit realm. Can't get upstairs. That's definitely not a ladder. Okay, we're just gonna recharge that. <laughs> hmm. Like if I zap that with spirit energy, there was maybe something there. That's the jack, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Her leg glitches out. Okay. Not intended to do that. If only we could power it. Oh. I wonder if we've actually activated the power now. 
No, it's definitely upstairs. The power's out. And we have to activate the power to get the jack. <laughs> Just run round the outside, yeah, of course, of course. Anything else up here while we're up here? Nope. Okay, so now we can lift the thing. Get this engine out of the way, which lets us get the door jack. Hydraulic jack handle. And then we can leave. That was just memories. But some things, when you've collected them, they stop being able to be seen, but others. Not so much. And there we go. Was this the red house? And <laughs> we've already accidentally set it on fire. It was then. The answers were right in front of me. In the there burnt down house. There's gotta be something left. I wonder if we could have gone in. <laughs> Again, there's more entity. Did we ever complete that one that was in the other room either. I don't think we did. Maybe we need to run into the flames. The only thing left to do. Nope. You can't even shield it. Okay. Yeah, there is a memory that we must have missed earlier. You think you're tough. When you hear them squeal and you smell their bodies burning, you'll tell me everything. You'll beg me to listen. But there's a few coffins there with people in them as well. I think you were inside, they all got burnt. You survived with only minor burns. God He's burning damn, the place. That Jack! You're so special. You burn just like the rest of us. <laughs> Jesus. Who the fuck is that guy? That was Jack. <laughs> Hitman Agent 47. He burns it down and then maybe regretted it. Now what? I love that. <laughs> I don't see anything else. I don't see any more spirit triggers. Anything over here? We 
You can't even cross it as the spirit. I don't know. <laughs> I'm lost again. <laughs> oh, darkness, my old friend. Not seeing anywhere else to go. God damn freaks. You think you're so special? You burp. Noted that. Where do you go after this? <laughs> Why this wasn't appearing until then, I don't know. The hounds. The lighter. Okay. Let's see who you really are. You fuck. Thomas. Tight, huh? You want to give it a go? Be my guest. Nah, I mean, you can give me the locks of the screwdriver and use the other one. just brute force it like that. <laughs> or a shitty old hammer. Why don't we? Yeah, that works as well. Right. Literally levering those flimsy locks is nothing. <laughs> Special agent. I knew it was trouble. He is agent forty seven. Security service. That little shit. Also I recognize that medal it That's is. That's no way to talk about a government agent, comrade. <sighs> it is Jack. Of course, it's been clever. Oh, Henry. Who the fuck's Henry? Build itself. <laughs> fuck. You don't know who you're messing with, kid. Oh, but I do. I've spent a lot of time getting to know you, Thomas. In fact, you're kind of a pet project of mine. Oh, yeah? What's my speedo size? <laughs> Funny guy. Oh. You like it too, comrade? Fuck you. <laughs> Let's play a game. It's called What Makes Thomas Tick? So, the Nazis found you in Warsaw when you were, what, three years old? And they were gonna kill you. But they didn't. Because they put on the creepy music to torture. Potential. Set. But then boom. the war's over. In comes the heroic Red Army, and they locked me up for years. Fucking servants. Because the threat of torture is more they than torture itself, which is why he's not actually torturing it. Research. What it is that makes you special. And what is that exactly? You're gonna tickle him with chain gloves. I feel mine. You enjoy it, don't you? Uh, hurting people. Like scientists. What were you? 18? I saw the photograph. I know how to make a man hurt, but I gotta say, I wasn't impressed. Stick around. We'll give you a live demonstration. And there you were, free at last. 
last, but free at last. Repo music. You had to use this power in your hand and on, on your best friend Richard. Here to come in. Yes. Yeah. I know you want a revenge. I understand. I would do anything for my child too. What it takes. Leave my children out of this. Children, children see. Marianne and Lily. Would you endure to keep them safe? Or would you sacrifice for them? Your freedom, maybe? Your Take life? You piece of shit. That's what I thought. I'll let you go. But first, I want you to tell me all about these powers of yours. Then earn it! Come on! Enough of this sissy shit! Hit me! I thought you'd never ask. <sighs> Get some rest, Thomas. The next time you wake up, the real pain begins. If he knew he had, like, psychic powers and things, <laughs> just not concerned about them at all. Oh, yeah, tighten his hands behind his back completely stops that. Up, sleepy head. Time's running out. What did you do? Here. See he set fire to the house. Oh, you sick fuck! Let me out of here! Let me out! Oh, they're still in there, Thomas. Will you show me now? Now he's going to enter his mind and take him over. <laughs> and he asked for it. He did ask for it. <laughs> and then, you know, he also killed his family. And. Finally. I thought he'd never get a chance. <laughs> okay. He's going to release his powers and destroy him then. Thankfully, this place has a way of messing with the time flow. I still got a chance to save Live a lifetime in a dream in a single night. All work and no play, are you, Henry? All right. Let's see what makes you tick. No way across. Guess I'll just make my own. More new powers. <laughs> okay, he's got some inner demons. They mad. I'm not alone in here. Thomas was alone, except he was not alone. <laughs> he was with inner demons. Trolling. Why is this a mountain of paperwork? No work and no play makes you a dull paperwork man. Inside. This is your soul. <laughs> okay. And you didn't need to tell me the tutorial again. Yeah, got it. Like that. <laughs> Cleared out the paperwork. Blocking our path. Slowly but surely he makes his way across. Okay, someone's typing on an old typewriter. A nice casual doors are open. The door to your soul, perhaps? Interrogation room? There you are. At least the part of you I'm after. Why does he want to destroy Larry the child and not like the demon? 
Seems like you're destroying the wrong parts of them. Real. Case 73523. Butcher. Jacob Wilk, suspected of theft, fraud, illegal trades. Henry Wilk, senior comes to. Oh no. <laughs> Ministry of Magic, his dad. Do you know why you're here? I'm not playing your games, Henry. <laughs> Don't call me that. Well, the dad. agency was led to believe you've been stealing meat from the working people of the Republic. Where would they get that idea, I wonder? Don't steal their meat. <laughs> you've been a very bad boy. Let's just get this over with. Given your line of work, you had ample opportunity to commit your crime. It is work in a meat shop against the people. With the people eat by death. Anything to say in your defense? He was hungry. I'm sorry, Henry. Sorry is not good enough. Ed. <laughs> Well, that doesn't lead into the room that we just saw. <laughs> I thought we'd be going into the exam room. Apparently not. Or maybe if I'd have opened the door beforehand or playing that, it might have. <laughs> that demon surely got to come into play, right? Not just gonna <laughs> have it run around the outside and not ever be of consequence. So we're gonna have to fight that, right? <laughs> I was just going to smack the scenery just to make you think that it's going to be scary, but it's not actually going to ever affect you. Okay, there's a spirit war. Ration stamp issued by the blurry stamp. Are you eating worms? There's no rations, so we eat worms. Big ooze. Okay, well, we need to charge to the other. Yes. You can hear the pigs being. Don't you hide from. There you are! Is it on a time cycle or is it just every time I chose to run? Eating meat. <laughs> you don't want me to get that with you. I need to get into there. There you are. <laughs> Does it matter? You just make me mildly hurt. Where are I... you, boy? He doesn't crouch like the other, like the girl. Did I miss something? I feel like there was something there. Let 
mean, we're going to have to go back anyway. Not like it makes a lot of difference. Maybe. I'm assuming we're going to go back. In before it's not a pig that's getting slaughtered up here on the chains. In before it's a human. We can't go interact with whatever chains up there. He doesn't... Of course he does. Of course he does. You mention it. He doesn't start to fall over the instant you start walking across like the other girl. Oh, he actually almost fell twice. Right, with her, once we started her off after the initial almost fall, she just kept going the entire way. The Hitman case. Okay, there's a... Cause, uh, of course, the knife. Am I not meant to take this? There's no... Aha. <laughs> I have the power! But this guy just steals. And maybe now that we're charged. I was going to say, maybe now that we're charged, we could take the <laughs> knife. Not the case. Where are you, boy? <laughs> Just run straight through it, like it has no consequence. And we're back here. <laughs> but the lights had no consequence. <laughs> Boom. Yeah, it's just a door, it's not a painted wall. <laughs> Don't you hide from me. Well, so was the demon a pig demon? Chops and a half piggy. It's the same room, but different. <laughs> now it's full of pigs. That's good. See how easy it is when you do as you're told. Something weird about that scene. Okay, now it has become this room. It didn't tell me to do anything, I just looked in the window. We probably won't finish with that room. <laughs> um, AB, blah blah blah, expires, the Ministry of Affairs, Security Office. Patriotism stronger than blood. Um, not often do we see patriotism of such quality as when was displayed during the past weeks by Senior Constable Henry Wilk, a civil officer by the civil police. Wilk showed his commitment to building the righteous tomorrow of the People's Republic by rejecting the shackles of his criminal kinship. His daring investigation to the now famous meat scandal led to a number of arrests, including one Jacob Wilk, Henry's own father. So he was working in Abtar, so, you know, he sold the meat because he worked there. 
<laughs> the irregularity is uncovered Bravo the world included corruption, theft of high quality meat products and replacing them for lesser ones. And <laughs> apart from Jacob Wolf, numerous other culprits have been apprehended, including the four directors in the socialised meat trade and several store managers. Charles commenced this coming Thursday and if accused and found guilty of their crimes, they will most likely face execution by hanging. When asked for comments, Officer Henry Wilkes responds as symbol. I only did what I felt was just. You need the words. Also, Wilk was one of the names that we saw in Neva. Neva knew. That's the Jack's coffee mug. Another reel. You want me to you feel still sorry there? for you, Henry? Let's see how that works out. Vilk, is it? Henry Vilk? What's this about? <laughs> Straight to the point. No fear, no hesitation. You're getting incorporated into it as well. dead, I'd be <laughs> dead already. So, what do you want? You're getting I'm dragged down into your job. Okay. I'm listening. I've been doing this a long time. I've come to know people. See what makes them tick. See their potential. Agreed. On one condition. Huh? And that condition is? The work I do for you, it stays at work. <laughs> that was so the way delayed. Why was that so delayed? If it doesn't, I'm holding you accountable. Welcome to the family. Why was that so delayed? Okay, in we go. It's a definitely not creepy red door. It's in a demon soul. More typing. More paperwork. Even more typing intensifies. <laughs> Why you'd stop running for that bit, I don't know. Ball, ball, boom. Okay, more stuff to shift out the way. <laughs> Slightly teleports a bit. X to use the spirit force. Be gone. Hey. You ever heard of Neva? That's of interest found in the Neva Workers Resort in the Krakow. Local investigators report a strange case involved in the painter. Richards. The person was found alive, but in a vegetative state, foul play was suspected. The examination didn't show any signs of brain trauma. Condition 
possible connection to the Gemini case, consult the classified files. So... Richard was white, then the nurse killed him to free him. <laughs> keep it clean, keep it quiet, that's what I've been training with. Note, I strongly recommend that you acquaint yourself with the Soviet scientist notes we fired during the 1950s. You've been granted access to archives entry 1138. This is for your eyes only. Well, dig in. Hold your case off to for further. Interesting. Clearly, he's been told to investigate us. And we, like, What's removed nice? all of the soul of the one person. Um, subject 42. The subject continues to manifest strong supernatural powers. He claims that another of himself is talking to him. Going visions, working theories, suspected connection to another person, possibly established as a result of near-death experience. More tests to confirm the split bit. Because this our guy did have a split personality. Like his shadow self and his normal self were different entities. Whereas Marianne's is just one. They operate in unison. Today's session halted prematurely due to an instance in the test chamber. While administering and prescribed substances, the lead scientist, Dr. Something, came into skin to skin contact with the subject, and then he was promptly hospitalized. Despite showing no signs of physical trauma, he fell into a vegetative state, from which he has yet to recover. First session has been halted, definitely. Don't touch somebody with psychic powers, they will. Connection. And then they can get in. Like this demon is trying to. Hi. I'm just gonna run past you. <laughs> Reminder for today's rescheduled session. Despite increased dosage, the subject remains extremely dangerous and needs to be restrained, both physically and mentally, for the duration of the test. High some security measures. Don't mind me just running past that demon, but maybe I was meant to wait to move out. <laughs> Don't mind the demon underneath. Gotta watch my step. He's ran away. And if you fall off there. You <laughs> were at the end of it. That would have been stupid. He fell off right there. Oh no, I fell down a hole. I should have made it just to see if him fall through the literal floor. Shit, not good. Not good. Wonder if we could squish it. <laughs> we waited a bit more. I mean, it was not let me push it earlier. That's for a fact. But you know, if I waited a bit longer, maybe we could have squished it. Probably not. Probably scripted. <laughs> Wait until the last moment before it actually falls to make it look like it's gonna get you. That's why that one didn't <laughs> make us wiggle, because demon was running into it to almost knock us over.
Again, you know, we're not fighting the demon. We're just coming for his actual inner soul. And really, we should kill the demon inside him and make him a good person. There he is. <laughs> Can't get me up here, can you? <laughs> you had to say it, you know. There. Got you right where I want it. Time to put you out of your misery. And stay the fuck down. Okay. <laughs> Maybe you did fight his demon at least a bit. In this one. You didn't just leave it to fester in the world. That's better. I had whispers then. So maybe there was something to sense and listen to. Mommy, Daddy and me, wheelchair. Why is Dad on fire? <laughs> So this is him, not, you know, us. So it's not our kid. He is. Disable for two. Um, what? <laughs> A door. Hat stands, a coat stands, with a suitcase by it. A machete! And one burnt out candle. And the spinning top that we saw earlier. Simon, where are you, boy? Is that it? <laughs> That's the entire conversation. Dad? Wheelchair. Hey there, champ. Are you going away again? Daddy has to go to work. Once I get back, we can go fishing. Now, you'd like that, wouldn't you? I don't like it when you go. I know. But sometimes daddy needs to I was trying to get in front of the wheelchair to make it push me. You understand? <laughs> it's fed off. I. Yes, father. Simon says. Don't open the door. Third round, you know, it's clearly the last one, right? It's Mind Palace. That's what we were looking for. This is a lot more fortified. <laughs> Definitely fortified. You're hiding in here. You're safe. This nope. It. You it's a prison cell. You're just in time. That's right, kid. Just come to me. I'll put an end to it. I'll set you free. No, it won't let us leave. The monster. It's... Don't worry about the. I monster. mean, we killed the monster. I'll deal with it. You could let the inner kid out and then he would be good. Put it down for good. Not if it puts you down first. What did you say? Okay. Maybe you should have actually finished off the demon. Oh, 
He was prepared. I mean, what do you expect? He knew. He knew you had these powers. Come on. What did you expect? <laughs> he was prepared for you. Yeah, it's a little bit late. You ran, go and go no into the fire, and then you just gave up. You didn't even go all the way in. <laughs> you know, if you could at least try and run into the fire, at least go running and try and save any survivors. Lily. Marianne. And we're back from outer space. It's turned in to find that sad look upon your face as you're lying on the floor and the place is burning to the ground. <laughs> I'm not singing a song, I promise. Okay, the ashes stop burning in the area world. I remember. It's him. It was always him. Oh dear. The <laughs> demon is still here, of course it is. Thomas. Thomas is down. You're too late, girl. It's you. You tried to kill us. What did you do to her? What did you do to Lillian? I was already dead. Your father made sure of that. You didn't know. That's a good one. Was it you? We caused us, you know, to sold around us after all. Was this sent to Neva after this or when it's about time <laughs> during it up? Once and for all. I'm the new one. Where you belong! <laughs> Henry!
Thomas Rekovich. My father. Was he the man on the pier? The man with the gun? The murderer from my dream? Maybe. How could he? Why? I needed to know what happened after the fire. What happened to them? To me. Right, so everything's been doing the magic freeze. But that's like end of chapter two, I guess. So I guess we got one more chapter. Postcards. Or a picture of us. <laughs> one daughter loved and held the other one looking very... Ravel the secrets of, of Henry. Okay. Almost the last save. It's been that just now. Okay, that's where I'm going to call it a day. I'll be back tomorrow where we will finish it. So I hope you have a good night and I'll see you again soon. Bye bye. Bye bye.